morning everybody it's gonna be a good day today we woke up near tire new york we've been on a big rounder we went first to virginia massachusetts maine and now we're headed across to burlington ontario in canada to pick up a load that's going to take me home to winnipeg and a big loop around the eastern part of the continent but i'm excited to start moving towards home again so let's get going home's not getting any closer let's get trucking storage but the W900 is not all about storage <laughs> that's okay I drive the truck because I love the truck not because it has storage oh well, my brakes were a little sticky there you go let's check those trailer brakes oh that's wonderful they definitely work and they release I never have any problems with that but here we go, officially driving. Can't take that back, once the logbook says that you've been driving. You've been driving. I-90, oh, I guess it's 90 north? No, I thought we were going west. Oh, that's the 414 that's going north or south. Oh, okay, yeah, we're going I-90 west. Meters. Take the freeway entrance on I-90 and then keep to the left and do 170 meters. Okie dokie. So that's the turning lane off on the left. This is the straight, go straight lane. Okay.
from New York. Top up my fuel tanks, and then we're not too far from uh, the border where we'll cross over north of Buffalo. I think it's from Lewiston, New York, into Niagara, Ontario. One kilometer, take RT 77 Pembroke. I haven't crossed there before. Usually I cross from Buffalo into or at Fort Erie. I think it's from Buffalo into Fort Erie, right? South of Buffalo. My trailer's empty, so I don't need any paperwork when I get to the border. I just need my passport. In 400 meters, take RT-77 Pembroke. So there's no paperwork to get cleared or you know, customs clearance to worry about. I've got no freight on me. I'm gonna go get some, though. Oh, 25 mile an hour around here, eh? I wonder why they make these, like they have an option to make them not so tight, but they decide to make these off-ramps just really tight. Maybe they are like restricted with space that they can use, I don't know. Ontario does the same thing. Really tight on and off-ramps. Maybe it forces people to slow down, maybe that's what they're going for. I'm thinking this must be pretty straightforward. Turn right on. Allegheny Road, RT-77, and then approaching destination on the right side, okay, 290 so right meters. Turn. Right turn. Ah, there it is. Don't think I've ever been to this Flying J before. Well, I haven't really driven on I-90 much, because I don't usually come from New England to cross back into Canada, right? It's not a very common route for me. All right. Approaching destination in 100 meters on the right side. I see it. I see it. You have arrived at your destination on the right side. Find J Travel Plaza. space on the other side of these pumps either kind of tight getting out that's probably what's holding things up a little bit yeah look at this once i'm done fueling if this guy pulls forward to my left and parks in front of the pump like you know most people would do i'm not sure if i'd be able to get out i couldn't get out to the left that's for sure maybe i can get around to the right there around that garbage truck over there Probably where they'd expect me to go. A little tight, but we'll make it work. So I didn't want to park in front of the pumps and block everybody in there, so I went around and found a parking spot so I could go in. And I just had the strangest experience in there. There's a, a busload of people that I'm guessing came from Boston, judging by their accents, like thick Boston accents. But anyways, there's it's just crowded with people in there, right? And for some reason, like these are all, uh, to, so you sort of understand what I'm talking about. These are all probably like retirees, maybe like recent retirees. So they're maybe in their 60s, 50s, 60s. I don't know, they were like, uh, is that middle-aged? Older? Anyways, uh, they all compiling into the store, right? And they just congregate right in front of the tills and just start talking amongst each other. And there's like 25 or 30 of them. There's like a full busful. 
they're all just all around the tills. And so I walk in, I was like, oh, are they all in line? And so uh, I make eye contact with a guy and I said, hey, are, are you guys in line here? And he just stares me right in the eye. Just void expression, no expression. And I look around like maybe he didn't hear me. I'm like, <clears throat> speak a little louder. Hey guys, are you, are you in line? Are you in line here? Uh, I, I would like to pay for my stuff. Are you in line? And I mean, I'm like four feet from this guy, like four feet away, close. We're looking straight at each other. And I was gesturing with my hands too, so he knows I'm talking to him, right? No expression on his face, just looking at me. And then he looks away to his friends. And right away then I thought, oh, okay, well, maybe he's deaf, maybe he's deaf, right? I'm like, okay, my bad, my bad. So I just assumed they weren't in line and I just went in front of them into the line and nobody protested, so I'm like, okay. And then I, I hear behind me, he starts a conversation with one of his friends right beside him and they start lo laughing and joking in English, so he understands English and he could hear his friend talking to him, so he's not deaf. So what, <laughs> what was that all about? What? And he just had this like look, the, the way he was looking at me was like, how dare you even approach me? Do you know who I am, you lowly peasant? Like, the vibe I was getting off him, right? Like just not, not even quite a void expression, but almost like a dis, like a detest. Like, why are you talking to me? All I want to know is, are you in line? Like, I was asking nicely, like, hey man, are you in line? Are you and your friends in line? Why would he do that? Just blatantly ignore, like, I was I was talking to him, and he knew I was talking to him. Strange, strange. I don't think I've ever had that happen to me before. Usually, if you talk to someone, you make eye contact, you're talking to them, they, they acknowledge you. If they don't want to talk to you, they're like, eh, whatever. No, he just... And then just looked away. Okay then. Turns out they weren't in line, so I guess that was the answer. No answer is that they're not in line. I was just strange. It was just strange. Like I wasn't offended or anything. I was just like, who does that? Weird. Weird, right? That was weird. All right, let's keep going. Let's go back home to Canada. Got my passport right here. We are ready. The lights are on. We are rolling. Let's roll out. Autobots, roll out. people still standing out there. I don't know where the bus is. I haven't, I didn't see the bus. I mean, they didn't just show up out of nowhere. They must have been from Boston, maybe from Maine, but you know, like that New England type of accent. Oh, this might be a little, uh, a little bit of time here before we can get on here. I got this group of cars coming here. Then an Amazon truck. Got a bunch of cars coming from here. I might have to get aggressive and just give her. Huh. Okay, maybe after this red truck. There goes the Amazon truck. Okay, there's a white SUV there. Oh no, there's someone behind him yet. And a pickup turning on there too. Okay, wow. Wow, traffic, okay. It's a busy road.
here getting loaded. I'm loaded like a van trailer today. Nice and easy. So it shouldn't take long, I don't think. They just roll it right on the back, just as if it was a dry van trailer. And then I pull out of the dock to a safe place somewhere, and then I have to tie it down still, because it's, actually, it's, it's not a dry van. It's, it's still a flatbed. It just has a rolling tarp over it. So I still gotta tie everything down that's inside there. But once they load me up, I can slowly go off to a safe spot. I think there's just five pieces. Tie them down. Be off to Winnipeg. There's my load. Five pieces. We're ready to head home. Gotta be in Winnipeg in three days. Should take about two and a half to get there. Pass on the south side of town, right beside this casino. Hopefully, there's parking for us here. Oh, it looks pretty full already. Oh man, I hope we find something here. I pulled in here because I thought that it was early enough that there would be spots available. Okay, yeah, there is some over there. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Found a great spot, straight out the driveway. So I was pretty tired last night, pulled in here. I actually parked in a spot a little further that way. It was kind of hard to get into also. There's one spot uh, that opened up right beside me there. And so I went for a little walk around the parking lot because I knew someone was gonna come park in that spot beside me then right away, right? And they were pretty tight over there. Yeah. And just as I was walking around the parking lot, the guy in this spot, took off, he left, opened up this spot. So I quickly ran back to the truck, started it up and moved it over here. Cause here, it's a straight shot out the driveway. And I had a spot open beside me here. It's not really a spot, I guess, but a guy came in and backed in here anyway. And it was a nice straight back for him. I didn't have to worry about anybody taking my bumper off. So I was able to sleep soundly. The next morning now, so we gotta start the next video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. Turn on notifications. 
Remember to be safe, stay safe, and drive safe. I'll see you tomorrow.